So by the time you actually start a renovation, you will have spent an estimated 496 hours thinking about it. What kind of flooring should I put in? Why is there 17,000 different shades of gray? How much are new cabinets going to cost? Maybe I can just refinish the old ones. And while there's an overwhelming amount of hard decisions to be made, that's not the real reason we don't actually get started with the renovation. The real reason is fear. There's a fear that maybe we don't know what we're doing. Maybe we're going to spend the money, put in all the hard work, make all the tough decisions, and the renovation is never going to live up to what we had hoped for. But we'll never know unless we try. So today's video is as much for me as it is for you. I'm going to walk you through my detailed plan to renovate my bathroom. And hopefully you can learn a couple things along the way to help you with one of your future renovations. The first thing you want to do, get into the space that you're going to be renovating. Get out your whiteboard, notepad, whatever you have. The first thing is to identify the scope of work. So we're going to run through what I'm going to do to this bathroom quickly. Maybe it will give you some ideas. Next thing we're going to cover is the materials. This is one of the most difficult parts. So we'll run through my material choices, how to save a bit of money, and as well, how to pick things that are going to go together and hopefully look nice in the end. And then finally, we're going to cover the sequence. So the first item up on the scope of work is to repaint the walls and the ceiling. We're going to be changing the wall color fixing any imperfections, and the ceiling has a bit of damage that we're gonna repair and then repaint. The next thing up that we're gonna be looking at is the flooring. The tile in this bathroom is not terrible, but it's a pretty outdated old brown tile that's nothing special, and it's not gonna match with the new modern style that we're looking for. So the next two things that we need to work on in here is probably the most egregious part of this whole bathroom, and it's the cabinets the countertop and the sink and tap. So I'm gonna be getting a professional to refinish the cabinets. I'm gonna build a frame around the mirror to tie it in with the cabinets. And then we're gonna get a new quartz countertop with an undermount sink and tap. So the next thing up is the light fixture. The light fixture doesn't currently match anything in the bathroom now, and it's not gonna match the future stuff. The next thing after the light fixture is the bathroom hardware. It's pretty dated again. It's starting to chip in a bunch of locations, so we'll be replacing that. The next thing we need to tackle is the toilet. The toilets that were in this house when we bought it are horrible. This particular toilet has flooded, ruining the ceiling below it. I've replaced the inside of it. And then the last thing that we're gonna be looking at here is just redoing the baseboards. And it's also worth mentioning here, which is gonna save me a lot of cost. I'm not gonna to be touching the bath shower area. It's not a bad looking area. It's got a nice white tub. The tiles that are in here are white. It looks fairly modern. I think it's gonna go pretty nicely with what we're doing in here. So now that we've got the scope of work all sorted out, the next logical step is to figure out the materials that you're gonna to need to get this part done. And then we're a week away from actually starting this renovation. So go through this exercise here of listing out your materials. So now if we're looking at the first item, repainting the walls and ceilings, I'm gonna need one can. I'm gonna get some Super 2 eggshell paint from Cloverdale Paints. It's an awesome paint. The color that I'm gonna go with here is lighter than this gray and it's called White Wisp. We've got it painted in some other areas of the house and it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go with that. For the ceiling, if you ever have to paint your ceiling, get a can of the CHB Sherwin-Williams Flat White. That stuff is amazing. I bet you it's only gonna take one coat to do this ceiling. So the next thing up is flooring. For the floor in here, I am going to cover over the existing tile with vinyl plank, the same vinyl plank that I installed in the basement. We're gonna be unifying the flooring throughout this house. When we first moved in here, I think there was five different types of floor. So I'm gonna be installing the vinyl plank. I'm gonna need two boxes of the Home Decorator Collection Gray Fig. I'll need one bag of self-level patch in order to patch over this tile floor so that I can install the vinyl plank right on top of it. So now for the cabinets, what I'm gonna end up doing here, you could totally get yourself a vanity from Ikea with a sink and a tap and the whole unit all together, probably around six to 800 bucks. That's not gonna be a terrible way to go, but I'm not a huge fan of Ikea cabinets. 
And my cabinets are actually in pretty good shape aside from all the paint flaking off. So what I'm gonna do is get them professionally refinished. In order to do that, I'm gonna need to get a, a gable that I'm gonna make out of three quarter inch MDF, a filler for the other side, and then I'll need some new kick material. I'll need eight feet of kick. And then I'm also going to do a two and a quarter inch frame around the mirror that will be finished the same as the cabinet. It'll kind of tie everything together and make it look a little nicer. So that's what I'm gonna do for the cabinets. And the refinishing is actually cheaper than you might think. It, to get this whole vanity professionally refinished, it's gonna be about 400 bucks. If I add all this stuff up together, I'm gonna to budget in 600 bucks for this. So the next thing up is the countertop sink and tap. This is gonna be the most expensive part of the renovation. I'm gonna go for a quartz countertop, a white undermount sink, and some type of a chrome tap. And then a nice little way that's similar to the uh, cabinet refinishing to save money on a countertop. What I'm gonna do in my bathroom is I'm gonna build my own template. I'm gonna buy the sink and the tap. I'm gonna take my samples and I'm gonna take that to the countertop shop. They can build the countertop for me, I can pick it up, and then I can install it myself. Installing countertops might, with undermount sinks might be a little more difficult for the average person. But again, I'm gonna estimate that's gonna save me like 50% on the cost of the countertop. All in all, with the sink and the tap and the countertop, that's probably gonna be about 1,200 bucks. The next thing up is the light fixture. I'm just gonna be looking for something similar to what's up there, just a little more modern looking, not with a big bell curve and the glass on it. For the bathroom hardware, nothing too flashy here. I'm just gonna be replacing the towel bar, the little ring that holds hand towels and the uh, toilet paper holder. I'm gonna get that in chrome, more of a modern finish, and I'm gonna allow for about a hundred bucks. Now in terms of the toilet, I'm gonna to be taking it out to accommodate the flooring. And I'm definitely not putting this piece of crap toilet back in. I'm gonna be putting in a new toilet. I already put in a new toilet on the main floor. It was a Kohler toilet. It's an awesome toilet. It was 350 bucks. And for the baseboards, I'm gonna be replacing the existing baseboards with a half by four and a quarter inch PVC flat stock baseboard. I'm gonna go PVC in the bathroom just because of any kind of water damage with the bathtub or God forbid that the toilet overflows again. <laughs> we don't need any. I also have videos on how to fix baseboards that have been damaged by water. So we're gonna avoid that with the PVC. I've allowed a hundred bucks for that. So all in all, the whole materials is gonna cost about $2,800. So it's probably gonna cost more than that if you've ever renovated anything, that's an estimate. So now with these materials, I've got them all listed out. It's about a week till I actually start doing the renovation. Now's the time to just start buying all this stuff, the sequencing, call it whatever you want, scheduling. I like to call it sequencing because you need to do things in a certain order that makes sense that are gonna keep things moving along smoothly without the train just veering off the tracks and catching fire in the ditch. So the first thing up is to send off the cabinet parts to get refinished. This is important because if you start ripping things apart, maybe you start painting, and then you're like, yeah, I need to get the cabinet stuff happening. You're already too late. So the first thing, get the cabinet parts all together, get them to the refinish shop. That way if it takes two, three weeks, maybe a month, month and a half, I don't really know how long it's gonna take, but by putting that right at the top, it's gonna work out a lot better in the end. Then the next thing up along the same lines is sending the cabinet parts in to get refinished, is I'm gonna template the countertops and place the order. That way again, usually countertops take like a week or two weeks. Even if I get the countertop early, I can just put it in the hallway and it's good to go. So repaint, I'll take out the toilet and I'll probably rip off a little bit of the countertop. And then I'm gonna repaint everything before I do the flooring, that way I'm not gonna get paint all over the new floor. And I'm gonna repaint everything before any of the finished cabinet parts or the countertop go on. Next thing I'm gonna do is the flooring. So once I get the flooring in, hopefully by that time, I will have got the cabinet parts back and I'm gonna finish up the cabinets completely. That reminds me, I did not put handles in the materials. I'm gonna add that in here. And now that the cabinets are all finished off, the kicks are into the wall. Next thing I'm gonna do is the baseboards. 
Now the baseboards, I'm gonna pre-paint and I'm actually thinking I might glue them onto the wall so there's not gonna be any nail holes. And then after the baseboards are on, then you can install the toilet. You don't wanna put the toilet on first. The spell toilet, there we go. So at the very end is the lights and the hardware. And you may have noticed I don't have countertop in the sequence of events. And that's because with countertops, you never know when they're gonna come. And if you wanna follow along with this particular renovation, subscribe to the channel. I'll have a video up next Friday, right over here, about everything you need to know to properly install vinyl plank flooring over an existing tile floor. And if you have any tips or questions, put them in the comments. There's always a lot of fun things happening over there. Thanks for watching.